Woo. What's up? You, you were in a car accident. Are you okay? Do you have any pain? What are you talking about? Yo. Let's go. It's my hell. It's only now time for you to kill somebody. It's a late November night in Salem County, New Jersey, when a family's foundation is literally rocked by, get this, the son of a sheriff. County 548, I'm out with the vehicle. Hey, you okay? He's he's going going 50 he's miles. Is he still in there? Yeah, he's moving. County 548, dispatch, EMS, and fire department, this vehicle is smoking. Here, let me get off my mic, that's not the way. Sir? County, it's into a house. Jesus. He doesn't hear anything. Yeah, sir. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, you were, you were in a car accident. You all right? Really? What's up? You, you were in a car accident. Are you okay? Do you have any pain? What are you talking about? No, not yet. Listen, hey, relax. You were in a car accident. I'm off for hell. I work for the Pennsylvania Police Department. You were in a car accident. Are you okay? Are you feeling it? Are you okay? Are you feeling any pain? No. Okay. What are you talking about? You were in a car accident, sir. When? Right now. You're looking at 32-year-old Charles Miller IV, the son of a South Jersey sheriff by the same name. Let's see what happens next. Put this down. Listen, don't move. Just relax, okay? Don't move too much. Just relax. 14, I'm coming in all the field work. Just relax. You were in a car accident. Okay. You were in a car accident, sir. Where? Right, right here. Are you in any pain? No. Right, I'm coming you want me to try to get him out, or he's not really answering any questions? He's confused and out of it. Uh, traffic control at 49 in Union. All right. Just try to relax, okay? Just stay stay put right there. Yeah, we do what? Listen, listen, listen. Stop, stop. What, man? Don't move too much. I don't know I'm if you have any injuries. To get this okay, all right, listen. Just stop moving. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna move it. Just stop moving. Who let me grab it? Off, yeah. Listen, take your seatbelt off. Take your seatbelt off. No. Let's go. Did you catch that? Let's rewind. No. Let's go. Our day's driver kicks at an officer, causing things to, well, see for yourself. Come on out. Come out. Step out of the car. County, Come on. Advised fire department. This truck's smoking. It's right up against the uh, building. Step out of the car. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Step out of the car. Yeah. 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 It's only now time for you to kill somebody. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. What are you talking about? She's driving all the way up, bro. I got a G's on her. I'm supposed to. 
I'm trying to pull my pants off. What are you doing? I'm trying to pull my pants off. Yeah, I need to call you. You're fucking choking. Yeah, I need to call you. 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 Yeah, next 10 pounds. What are you doing, dude? Shut the f*** up. I'm going to need to be out here uh, ASAP. Where's my key in my truck? Hey, hey, hey. How do I put your feet in? How do I put this in? Put your feet in. Yo, I can't put my f***ing hands in you. God, how is he always a pain in the f***ing Hey, do a phone number. Um. Back at the house, a woman pokes her head out the window, indicating a sticky situation for residents inside. Good? Yo! Say again. Someone scouting by the three. Okay, who's the car? Okay. Paramedics arrive to make sure Charles is okay. We got EMS to check you out, all right? Our confused culprit is cleared by paramedics before police take him to the station. I hear you. Watch your legs. Well, I do not Watch your feet. Did you guys pulse off something? No. I didn't touch it. You got the pulse off in the studio for like that. Yeah. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, you're so perfect. Alright. Yeah, we'll just get this. You guys have his license and everything? I haven't grabbed it yet, but I think we know who it is, right, so. Okay, we're gonna watch it. Alright. Alright. We're done. I'm gonna get your first later. I'm sure we'll see you guys yep. at the station. Right. What, what uh, ended up happening? Did you get a story from him? No. He fought us immediately and then we heard him out, put him in cuffs, and he put him in the truck. Was he in the truck when you guys got him? Yeah, he was like out of it. And I woke him up uh -huh. and then I asked him if he was hurt or had the feeling pain. Mm -hmm. And he really couldn't say it. He was just mad at me for waking him up. Mm -hmm. And then uh, started freaking out. So I couldn't get any if he was hurt or not out of him. Just alcohol or you think drugs? Really? I don't know. Yeah. Huh. What's going on with him? He's good. Like, he doesn't say he has any pain or anything. They cleared him, so. Looks like Charles is okay. This Salem County street, however, not so much. Could you tell where he hit or how it happened? He went off with the fucking pole first on and hit the house. But he hit the house. He had to be going so fast. He hit the house. It's the new foundation. See where the siding is? Do you have any idea how much rain, how much more rain's coming? Um, think back to the station first.
Magic car. So, but, yeah. But you got, you've got to go. You got to go there first. Yeah. We're both going to go back. Okay. And then he's going to choose us from there, and then you'll run up the hospital while I start doing it. All right. So just go out there at all. Okay. He hasn't been uh, searched either. Okay. We haven't searched him, so. Well, are you going back with him? Uh, yeah, he just told me to. Okay. Investigators claim Charles hit a utility pole at upwards of 60 miles per hour. The pole then broke in half before his truck slammed into the house. Let's now head to the police station with our suspect. Hear that? Police said three families were displaced because of the crash. Let's continue. I'm sorry, you want me to grab it? This my my and my get away, get away. Get caught early. Oh, yeah. Sorry, dude. Okay, yeah, sure. so Where are you coming from, Charlie? What? Where are you coming from? Elmer. What? Elmer. Elmer? Yeah. Sorry. Charles Miller was booked for DUI and multiple drug possession charges after police said they found 36 bags of heroin, crack cocaine, and Xanax pills in his truck. Charles was processed for his criminal charges and called his mom, not his sheriff father, for a ride home. Right, 